Hello everyone. Welcome to Asteris on VPS.com where we give you tutorials on uh, um, Asterisk based uh, systems. <clears throat> Today I'm, I just want to show you how to create um, uh, if, if, if you have a um, WordPress uh, site or a Joomla site, how you can uh, uh, link your, your, your A2 billing uh, customer site or your A2 billing um, login or sign in uh, f uh, to your website. Okay, I'll give you an example of a website that's... Uh, uh, done that way it's called calls on net.com <clears throat> from this site you can see this is a, 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 a <clears throat> wordpress site but you can see it's it, it, it this site uses a2 billing for its billing purposes and uh, you can see from your customer sign up It's obvious that they are using um, A2 billing because of this. Uh, this is a typical uh, A2 billing sign up. And if you can go to their login, of course, their login, uh, their customer side is a bit um, um, customized. So it really doesn't look uh, like uh, A2 billing, but it is A2 billing. So uh, the, the way they've integrated here is the way we want to integrate um, f on this on this uh, tutorial. The, that's the way I want to show you how to integrate on this uh, tutorial. <clears throat> okay, uh, let's go to our installation. I've just installed um, a, a WordPress, the default WordPress. As, um, template that's what is in there so we are going to use this default uh, uh, wordpress template to show you how you can we can embed uh, this um, a2 billing here the customer side is and, and the logins the sign ins okay now uh, we can go to the admin area Once you get into the admin area <clears throat> of your uh, default WordPress installation, you need to go to plugins and you click add new plugin. Then you must look for a pr plugin called embedded. Search for the, it's called embedded pro. Uh, so you install it. I've already installed it. So, but you install this. This uh, plugin will help you uh, to, to, to put in your, your, your iframes uh, without distorting your, your WordPress page. Okay. Okay. Now um, uh, we go to the um, uh, to create an H HTML snippet. Go to add new. then maybe this one is the sign up page right sign up page just call it sign up and um, uh, we need to to take the uh, iframe and put it in there We, my iframe shows um okay this one is sign up yes okay so my iframe shows uh, um, the width of my uh, uh, side of my uh, page is 100 percent of the page and then the height is 700 i just took uh, 700 <clears throat> okay and uh, it doesn't the the iframe doesn't have a border F frame border is zero and the iframe is not scrolling Right, and uh, um, um, 
this is just uh, my um, the, the name of the the iframe and uh, in case you you open this iframe in a, a, a web browser that uh, is incompatible i've just put in a, a compatible web browser here google chrome but the the this thing should be compatible with all web browsers uh, the 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 uh, common web browsers that we know uh, um, like um, uh, explorer microsoft explorer uh, um, internet explorer or google chrome or firefox or safari um, i think it should be um, uh, compatible with those and opera should be compatible with all of them okay now uh, now that we have created our uh, iframe we just uh, publish it here like this all right so when, when you publish it you will see that it will give you a code code you copy that code and you create a page you go to page new so this is our sign up page okay you just copy this um, page there okay you that code there you have created your uh, <clears throat> your sign up page so uh, that's it for the for the sign up page now you can um if if you if your your um, um theme supports menus you can go to the menu side create a menu let's call this menu one create that menu all right and then uh, put the sign up page on the menu save okay you can go to your widget say do we have a, a menu here okay no it, it, this one doesn't have a a menu on the widgets so but we can just okay let's just go back there and activate the prime this one is the primary menu so that it appears on top when we open so now our web our website is this we go to our website front page So if we if we uh, um, click here the sign up page yeah. we should be able to get our sign up our sign up that's our sign up you see now we have embedded that sign up into uh, this wordpress um, uh, page okay and um, uh, we can go back and and create another um another one maybe for 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 the login Add new okay we can just um, copy that one and, and edit it we add a new one uh, maybe this one is um, 
um, that one was sign up this one is log in and I'm sure the log in is like um, Customer, I just want to get the, the login URL. Mm -hmm. Okay, so our login URL is that one so we we can just copy it here between this in quotation marks there we are uh, we publish that one is login and then we get a, a code here we copy the code we create a login page We call it <coughs> login. Publish that one. Then um, we can go to uh, okay. Let's go to our menu and add that thing in uh, that. Um, a page in our menu <coughs> okay log in add to menu save you can uh, reorder these menus the way this these items on the menu the way you want <clears throat> well, that's where we are now so if we go to the main thing uh, you can see now there is log in there if you click log in the log in uh, <clears throat> uh, frame there should now be embedded so now this is a uh, how you embed your your free pbx login sign up uh, page even the admin if you want to log to embed it as the admin but i don't <coughs> encourage you to to do that maybe you can create your own page as, as an admin page that you don't put on your menu and you you just keep it secret for yourself so you just open it anytime you want you don't need now to be going to the uh, A2 billing server uh, back and forth and to your site to the A2 billing. You just concentrate on your site and everything is <clears throat> is accessible from there. One other thing that you need to know is either uh, you you need to uh, put a, a um, uh, certificate. You need to buy a certificate for your. Um, for your website if you are using elastics that is elastics will be using a, <clears throat> a certificate but if your certificate is not authenticated or it it might not appear here here <clears throat> on the <clears throat> this embedded page might not appear so either you need to buy that certificate and and install the certificate or you need to disable https and use um, HTTP. So you know you don't use SSL now. You just disable the SSL. You can um, <clears throat> get more information on that on how to do that from studies on VPS uh, dot com uh, from the tutorials. Thank you for watching, and uh, let's meet again in other tutorials. If you have any questions, please uh, write down your questions. 
just below the the, the uh, video or if 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 this uh, the video is embedded on our site just comment on our site and we will come back to you with answers thank you very much for watching